Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the ultimate hunting guide. Um, a lot of time has passed since the 0 0.85 update, and I think it's time to close the chapters on the biggest changes in 0 0.85. So I'm starting off the final chapter with hunting, and I'm going to show you everything you need to know about hunting to make it as easy as possible for you. So let's get going. Now, there you guys can hear a goat. Now, in my personal opinion, after all my tests, awareness is by far the best skill that you can have when it comes to hunting, and I will show you why. So this character at the moment has got advanced awareness, no survival. I've just got a compass on me for direction. And a hunt basically just starts when you hear the, anim the sound of an animal, and then you just have to go towards the sound of the animal and you don't have to go very very far because with advanced awareness the little paws are going to come up to show you where the clue is so there you guys see there's the clue okay and you can literally see how far you have to be for the paws to come up so that so the reason I'm doing this in the snow is in the snow, you basically don't need uh, an awareness skill or a survival skill to see the clue because the clue will be in open snow. And once you know what kind of clues different animals leave, you can physically just look for the clue itself, okay? Now, one thing I want you to notice is that when you're holding your focus mode, or when you look at it, look when you look at the clue, it doesn't shine blue from very, very far away. Like if we look at it now, it's not glowing blue a lot. Until we move very close to it, then it's going to start shining. It's, you're going to start seeing that blue indicator around it, okay? But again, the... The awareness skill brings up these paws that are very, very important. Okay? So that's why I say it's very easy to hunt like this. As soon as you've gathered the first clue, it will give you a direction in the, in the text menu there at the right here. Right there. It will give you animal went northeast. So having a compass will help you quite a bit to see where you have to go next. So we're going northeast. But again, we are not just going to keep going northeast. We are now going to go in the direction of the clue because the clue is making the sound, okay? The, the sound is coming from the clue. And once again, with advanced awareness, it is very easy, as soon as you know where the sound comes from, it is very easy to find that clue because awareness affects how far away you see the paws coming up, the indicator of where the clue is. Where with no awareness, you're going to have to stand on top of the clue to see where the clue is, okay? Okay. So with advanced awareness, you can just look around you. And when the clue, when the sound comes, look at your compass, like they say to go northeast. But as soon as you hear the clue, see what direction the sound is coming from so that you know which direction to walk. So that even if you look around for, for the clue, you're not going to get confused. Okay, so the, the, the sound is now coming south, you know, uh, southwest but more south i can just focus on that direction and forget about everything else and now if i hold in my focus mode and keep going towards the sound I see that I've missed the sound. So again, I feel the sounds coming northeast, so I'm going northeast again. And look at the small radius that I'm covering. 
That is very important for you guys to know how far the sounds are away. Now, it's very difficult to see that clue without awareness because awareness is giving you the pause. So I like to wait after the sound is done. Then I examine. Then I get the new direction, which is north. Then I keep going north and I keep listening for the sound. I don't care about north. I care about the sound, the direction of the clue. Going north. So, sound is coming from that side. North East 30. And now because of the awareness, the pores are helping me, but with no awareness, I have to be like right on top of the clue. Now, I can use my eyesight. That's why I say you don't need, you don't need advanced awareness. You'll be able to see it. But you'll see that that shine, that blue shine on, on it, comes from pretty far away. Okay? Pretty far away. Still shine, you know, it's still glow, glowing. Now, some people say that this, this blue light comes through easier with survival. But once again, okay, so now the animal has spawned. Because you can literally, it sounds like an animal now. And I didn't see what direction, but the sound came roughly from here. Okay, so there's the goat. Can just rage find this quickly because it's not too far away. And you can see how loud the sound is now. Just want to range find it. 65 meters. Okay. So if we go to the last clue, which was, I can't remember exactly where, but that's why I tell you guys, the, the next clue is roughly 100 meters away. Okay. And then we just load our gun. We can kill it. Okay. Um, I'm, w I'm wondering why it isn't showing the suppressor. Oh, the suppressor's not on the gun anymore. Okay, in any case, that's why I tell you guys that the clues are basically 100 meters maximum away from each other. And you guys saw how fast I turned around to find the clue um, where I was. So the biggest tip I can give you here is that the snow is very easy because without survival and without awareness, you can physically see the clues on the ground. And in my personal opinion, if you have high survival, yes, it might seem like the, the clue is glowing from far away. But that glowing is not going to help you in the forest. So for me personally, I can hunt in the snow. Doesn't matter if I've got no awareness or no survival, which I will quickly demonstrate for you guys at the end of the video. But the main information that I want to give you about hunting is to, when a hunt starts as soon as you hear an animal. The, the sound does not come from an animal. It comes from the clue. So you have to go towards the sound to find the clue. Awareness is the best way to find the clue because if you're in a very dense forest, forest area and there's a lot of rocks and a lot of trees and a lot of bushes in your way, it doesn't matter if survival helps you to highlight the clue from further away. You're going to need that those paws that indicate to you where the clue is. 
I have hunted in the forest with no awareness and no survival, and it is, for me personally, difficult. And then I've hunted in the snow with no survival and no awareness, and that is almost the most fun because I'm not using an advanced method with ad, with awareness or with survival to find the clue. I physically have to look for the clue so it feels more immersive. But for any of you that struggle with hunting, the snow is a very good place to start hunting, to get used to how far the distance is from the one clue to the next clue. And once you do enough research with the sniper rifle and you do the range finding, you will see that Clues usually aren't more than 100 meters away from one another. So that trains you to not walk too far to go find a clue. And then certain sometimes you're going to have more clues, sometimes you're going to have less clues. And on, I'm going to try and do a hunt now with a new character that has no awareness and no survival. And yes, I have done a hunt with a character that just has advanced um, survival and I do feel in the snow I can see the the I can see the, the the clue highlight that blue light a bit further away but again if I'm hunting in snow I physically don't need the highlight I can hunt in snow without survival and without awareness the majority of the map is covered by grass bushes trees and rocks so that's where you're going to need that awareness for the pause to come up and give you the, the location of the clue because it's probably in between dense grass or bushes or something like that, okay? So just remember, when you hear the first clue, that is the direction that you must go. When you examine the clue, go down on it and examine it, you must go in the direction that they tell you to go until you hear a sound, then you forget about the direction they gave you and you go in the direction of the sound. And then with awareness, you hold in your focus mode so that those pores can come up because they won't come up without awareness. And it gives you a little bit of a zoom function. So if you've got high survival, you'll probably, you'll maybe see the clue highlight, especially if it's on a hill or something like that. But again, a good training ground is to hunt in the snow. And to finish this video off, I'm going to do a quick hunt for you guys. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and just a, fi just a final tip. There's a big difference if you chop up this torso. There's a big difference between a stone knife, a butcher, a bushman, and a cleaver. If you want the most amount of meat from a torso, not really legs, but from a torso, then um, there's going to be a big difference in the yield that you get between a stone knife, a bushman, and a cleaver. A cleaver is the best tool to use with meat, and then a bushman is the second best. So you, you want to try and aim for those tools. So let's go hunt that animal quickly with no skills. Let me give you guys a, a bit of extra information. Okay. The biggest tip I can give you guys about a hunt is do not ignore a clue. As soon as, an, as, soon as a, the clue makes the sound, you have got two and a half minutes to find that clue and then you can't move more than 300 meters away from the clue okay so here's literally a clue right beneath us it's a little a little animal dropping that one is very very difficult to spot in the snow but it is not snow color it's not colored it's not colored by snow okay so i'm going to examine it animal is west i'm going to move west i'm just going to put down uh Blueprint over here. We know it's at the cornfield. We're going to move west. And yeah, that's the most important thing. If you don't find that clue within two and a half minutes, it's gone, guys. It's gone. 
So I'm go I'm gonna move towards the clue. Now because it changed direction, I know it's close. As soon as a clue comes from a different direction, I know I've bait almost moved past it. So now I'm physically looking for a clue. You see? Clue is around here somewhere. And we've got two and a half minutes to find the clue, otherwise the hunt ends. I like to go into third person because it just gives me a better view of everything. And then I just like to go into focus mode if I'm unsure about something. But I know the clue is around here somewhere. Looks like a chicken is quite difficult. <laughs> Looks like a chicken is quite difficult, guys. And it being in between houses is difficult as well. Okay, that that that's the direction. That's the direction. There, there. Okay, so there's the poor marks, which we can see. Southwest. And look how look how far that is. Look how far that is. Southwest. Look how far that is. Southwest. I'm literally looking with my eyes. No awareness, no survival. That's why, that's how I knew I moved past it. That is how I knew I moved past it, Gus. Because after a while, you figure out the distance. Right here somewhere. Right here somewhere. So now I'm looking at absolutely everything. I know it's in this area. I know it's in the area. Now I basically just want to walk over everything I see. Because when you're on top of it, it the If you're, when you're on top of it, the pores will come out. There it is. There it is. So now it's southeast. She pores will come out. Southeast. Okay. I have to look very, very, very carefully. There we go with the next one. And it's flashing. 
It's flashing, guys. No awareness, no survival. Southeast. And there's the chicken. Look how close these clues are. So that's the biggest tip I can give you guys, is don't take your time. You've got two and a half minutes between clues, and don't go too far. Be aware that the clues will never be more than 100 meters away from each other. That's the biggest tip I can give you guys. A clue only remains for two and a half minutes. So if you hear it, go for it and take the two and a half minutes in mind and understand that you can't move more than 300 meters away from that clue. Otherwise, it will end. The hunt will end. So get aware of the distance between the clues. And even without survival and without... Awareness, you'll still be able to spot the clues. As you saw, some of them were different or difficult. Some of them aren't. If you've got any further questions, please leave it down in the comments below. And to finalize the chapter, in the next video, we're going to be covering exhaustion. And, com and then we're going to cover cooking as well. We're going to combine um, cooking with farming because farming is quite important to have all the resource that you need for cooking. If you like this video, please do me a favor and click that like button. And if you're not subscribed yet, um, click that subscribe button to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about scum. Have a great day, guys. Cheers.